Good morning students. Today we will start with lesson 2 bones and muscles. Please refer to page 14 of the textbook. In this lesson we learn about the skeletal system that is the framework of bones. How these bones are joined to each other that is the joints and lastly how are we able to move these bones that is the muscles and its types. So let's get started with the first topic that is the skeletal system. Skeletal system is a framework of bones. Bones are made up of living tissues. So they can grow and can repair themselves. We are born with about 300 bones. As we grow, some of these bones fuse together and as an adult, we are left with 206 bones. I repeat, an adult human being has 206 bones. The skeletal system performs two major functions. That is, it provides shape and support to our body. Secondly, it protects the soft internal organs of the body. We can divide the skeletal system into four parts that is skull, spine, rib cage and limbs which includes the forelimbs that is the arms and the hind limbs that is the legs. Skull. The bones of the head make the skull. The delicate internal organ that these bones protect is the brain. Skull is made up of 22 bones. Upper part consists of 8 bones and the lower part consists of 14 bones. Among all these bones, only the lower jaw bone is movable. Rest all the bones are immovable. It is because of this movable lower jaw that we are able to speak. If you touch your nose, you can feel a long hard structure. This actually is not a bone. It is called cartilage. It gives structure to the nose and is made up of strong yet flexible tissue. Spine. A column of bones right from the neck to the end of the back is called the backbone or the spine. It is made up of 26 small bones placed one above the other. Each of these bones has a hole in it. The spinal cord passes through these holes. So, we can say that the spine protects the spinal cord. Each bone in the spine is called a vertebra. So, the spine is also referred to as the vertebral column. Here again, the strong flexible tissue that is the cartilage provides cushioning between two bones. We are able to bend and twist our body because of these 26 vertebrae. Rib cage. As the name suggests, these bones form a cage like structure around the heart and lungs to protect them. There are 12 pairs of bones which join the, join the spine at the back and the sternum or the chest bone in the front. Among these 12, the last two pairs do not join the sternum and are called floating bones. Limbs. We have two pairs of limbs. Fore limbs, that is the arms and hind limbs, that is the legs. Both these limbs help in the movement of the body. The bones of the shoulder are joined to the spine by the shoulder girdle or pectoral girdle. The bones of the hip are joined to the spine by the hip girdle or the pelvic girdle. Our limbs can be divided into three parts. The upper part or the upper arm which extends from the shoulder to the elbow has one bone called humerus. The lower arm from the elbow to the wrist consists of two bones that is radius and ulna. The wrist and the hand are made up of 27 bones. Similarly, for the hind limb, the upper leg that is from the hip 
to the knee there is one single bone known as femur or the thigh bone this is the longest bone in our body the lower leg that is from the knee to the ankle has two bones known as tibia and fibula the ankle and the foot are made up of 26 small bones that's about all for today read pages 14 to 16 of the lesson go through the video once again and learn the key points thank you